Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Friday, March 4th, 2016. I am your host, Banks Lee. As always, we're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. So let's get started last Friday on February 26th. We were over at Epcot for a preview of this year's Flower and Garden Festival, which actually started this week, but when we were there on the 26th, it had not started yet. And this is a look at a, a new topiary that is on display there with Minnie and Pluto. While we were there, they were still putting together some of the playgrounds for the Flower and Garden Festival. This is the Music Garden Melodies Playground, located in Future World. Here's a look at some of the merchandise available for Flower and Garden this year. As you can see, Figment features on many of the items this year. Of course, it's not just always about flowers and gardens at the Flower and Garden Festival. They also have food available. And here's just a look at some of the samples that you can get this year. This is a cheese plate with a key lime wine. An egg pasta dish bratwurst and beef brisket comment below now that the event has started comment below on our youtube video here and let me know which one what you've tried at the flower and garden festival what you would recommend people try when they go moving on to february 27th fallout boy was performing at universal orlando for their mardi gras and it was very very packed during the day this was the line just after noon and the concert wasn't even until that night Spotted this new sign for the new McDonald's at the corner of Sand Lake and I Drive. We've talked about it on past episodes. Don't know, still don't know when it's going to open, but more and more things are getting installed. So I keep saying, soon, probably soon. February 28th, we shared this photo of Elisa and I after we got slimed at Nick Hotel. I talked about this last week on Weekly Rewind. If you want to check out that episode, you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash attractions magazine to see us getting slimed. For Broadway lovers, Dr. Phillips Center of the Performing Arts announced their 2016-2017 theatrical season for the center downtown Orlando. Wicked's coming back, you see right here, for three weeks. Other shows coming to Dr. Phillips Center soon include The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, An American in Paris, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, The Little Mermaid, and Matilda. Moving on to March 2nd, we talked about the preview earlier in the episode, but now March 2nd was the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot, and here's a look at the poster for the event. And finally, while you're at Epcot for the Flower and Garden Festival, go be sure to meet Baymax over at Character Spot. He always loves a hug. And that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune into the show this past week. We took a dive into chilly waters with a polar plunge, and we checked out the new Skipper Canteen restaurant in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom. And until next week, guys, have fun. We'll see you later.